Hi everyone, uh, really good to be speaking to you again today. Today I'm going to be talking about God's will and how important it is for us to understand what that will is in the season that we're living in in the world and where the world trajectory is going towards. Um, so right now I want to be sharing a little bit about that. Um, sometimes, you know, we experience God's will to be completely different to the conventional way of doing things, right? Even in our churches and in our ministries, um, we sometimes have a set structure, but then the Lord's Holy Spirit comes and he blows all of those things away um, not that it's it's unimportant to have structure and to have order God is a God of order but many times the Lord calls us into new terrain where there isn't any structure yet um, I'm reminded just of Genesis 1 where the Holy Spirit the Spirit of God actually hovers over chaos over nothing that was formed and he brought chaos into that midst and just understanding that the Holy Spirit is the one who brings order, not our structures, not our brilliant plans, but the Holy Spirit, the presence of God is the one who brings order. So this topic comes up continuously, right? It's the, the fact that we're called to awaken and to stir and to work out our faith with fear and trembling. And so we're called not to be sleepy in this time of the world, um, but to be actively pursuing God's will for our lives. So we're reading from Mark 4 verse 21 to 23. And it says the following, a lamp is not brought in to be put under a basket or under a bed, is it? Is it not to be put on the lampstand? For nothing is hidden except to be revealed, nor has anything been kept secret, but that it would come to light. That is, things are hidden only temporarily until the appropriate time comes for them to be known. If anyone has ears, let him hear. And so lamps have lampstands. That's what they were made for. That's um, the essence of putting a lamp on a higher place so that it can lighten up the room. And every believer, I believe, also has a place where God wants them to be in different seasons, geographically, spiritually, emotionally. My question to you is, are you at that place? Are you at that place? Are you on the candlestick? Uh, or are you on the couch or under the couch or in a measuring bucket becoming your home? Um, interestingly, this word um, bucket or basket that it refers to in Mark 4 verse 21 in the English actually refers to in the Greek as a bushel or a utensil, which is used to measure something. And so my question would be, you know, have you become comfortable in almost fulfilling the role that the world has assigned to you? In essence, a measuring bucket actually created by man's hands right and sometimes we put ourselves under that measuring bucket and we think that our meaning our value and our importance and everything that is part of our lives gets defined by putting ourselves under that measuring utensil but i believe that god is calling the believers and the church in this time to be put on a lampstand so that we can be lifted up to a place of dependency on god which is not comfortable many times but it is absolutely necessary for this season in the world i believe so my question to you would be while god has intended for you to shine and give light to the whole room are you still refusing for him to put you in that place of 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 a lampstand or are you still trying to stay under that measuring utensil because remember a lamp is made for a lampstand and a lampstand is made for a lamp and we're called to be in those places where god's will is for us to be there's an interesting cross reference here to Matthew 10, 27, which says, what I say to you in the dark, tell in the light and what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim from the housetops. And that's also something I think is so important for us to understand, right? That um, everything comes from a place of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. If we do not have that place of intimacy with God, we cannot be the salt and the light of the earth. It is impossible because he is the fountain and he is the source. So I would just like to encourage us, don't allow the world to be your measuring rod if God is the only one who can speak to your value. Do not allow yourself to be put under a bucket or under a measuring um, basket or utensil if you were actually meant to be on a lampstand. Um, Matthew's reference, it also speaks of flowing from the secret place, as I've just mentioned. Everything flows from the secret place. Your whole day-to-day -day schedule flows from the intimacy between you and God. Not just your schedule, but your relationships, your friendships. That is why it is so important for us to understand what God is telling us and that we would open up our ears to hear what the Spirit tells us. And then everything will be revealed one day. That's another side, I think, to, to understanding what this means. Everything will be revealed one day during Judgment Day. So do you think what you think about do you listen to yourself when you speak to other believers or to non-believers do you listen to yourself when you are home 
Are you the same person sitting in church on Sundays that you would be when you are at school or in university or in the classroom or in a workplace or in the mission field? Um, remember, everything will come to the light. We need to be consistent with following God's voice, listening to his Holy Spirit and trusting him to guide us in these days. Um, and then, of course, our works will be tested by fire. We need to gather heavenly riches. Uh, and so I pray that we will understand what God's lampstand is for us all individually, because it differs from person to person. Um, but we will all be judged on what we've known, but haven't done. And then I also love, uh, someone always told me, scripture interprets scripture. So let's look at Matthew 5, 14. It says, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand. And it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to God who is in heaven. God is the whole point. Glorifying him is the purpose of our lives, not the results, not the impressive um, amount of people who've come to know him as many, unfortunately, mission organizations also put it. We really are not living um, to put numbers on paper. We're living to give God the glory. And if we are obedient to his voice and to his will, that is the only thing on which we will be judged, we've, whether we've listened to his voice and whether we've been obedient to his voice. And uh, just today, an amazing man has also shared with me something that I'd like to share with you as well. Um, never ever be um, upset or disappointed when when someone gets prayed for or isn't healed because the healing is not yours. When you pray for someone, you are obedient to God. That is your responsibility to be obedient to him. But the healing comes from God. So in every case and in any case, even when you're ministering to someone, when you're trusting someone to be healed, when you're trusting someone to come to God, it is not your job to see the results. Your job is to be obedient to the voice of God and the results we leave to God most high. So bless you. I pray that God will show you what the lampstand is in this season and that you will have the courage and the obedience to follow God, even when it means it goes from a completely different place that you've always known to a completely different place that you'd never known before. Just as he led Abraham out of what he knew to a different land, uh, flowing with milk and honey for the Israelites through the desert. Um, sometimes he will place us in very difficult circumstances to test us and to test our faith, but also to trust him that we will hear his voice and listen to his will. So may God bless you in the season. And I will be praying that God will show you your lampstand.